Do you want to create anchor links, also known as jump links, in the Gutenberg editor that take your website visitors to a specific spot on a different page when they click the link? If so, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Now let's get started. Here's a quick preview of what we're making in this video. This is the page made with WordPress Gutenberg. If I scroll down, there's a link right here. If I click on that link, it's going to jump to a different page. This is the portfolio page and right to this specific section of the portfolio. And just to prove to you it's a different page, you can see that it is the portfolio page. And we're on the about page in the beginning. And you can do this to different pages. You can do this to pages on your website or other people's websites. You can do this to the same page on your website. A lot of different options and I'll show you how to do it right now. The first thing we have to do is figure out where we want to put the anchor link, which is the place we're going to be jumping to. So in this example, we had it on the portfolio page. So let's just go there, click on edit, and I'll show you how we added it. We can add it to anything we want in Gutenberg. So it's on this highlighting your skills headline here. If we go to advanced, we see skills as the HTML anchor on the right. Let's just delete that. And let's move the anchor link to, we can put it on this picture. Scroll down or move over to advanced. Get to the advanced tab somehow. Some sections will have it as a drop down on the main, and for images, it's in the advanced tab. And we had an anchor. Let's have this be called portfolio pictures. We kind of want to make it make sense. We want it to be all one word. You can have dashes and underscores if you want. You can also have numbers. Don't do special characters, don't do spaces. I usually try to stick to dashes because that's usually what I have my URL permalink set to as well, to have dashes between the words. So we're going to keep it as that, and I'm going to copy this, because we need this for the next bit. We're going to link to that page from, let's do the contact page for something different. Let's just add a little text right here. Just add the sentence, want to see my portfolio, click here. I'm going to highlight that, I'm going to make the whole thing a link. And we need to get the link to the page we're linking to plus the anchor text that we entered in the field just a moment ago. So let's get the page URL first. And there's no easy way to do this. We just actually have to go to the page, copy the URL. And when we have something highlighted, we can click on the link icon to create a link. We paste the URL in here. We can keep that last forward slash or not. I like to remove it. Then we add a hashtag. And then we have to add the anchor text we entered in the field earlier, which in this case was portfolio-pictures. And then submit. Now we have an anchor link on that text. Update that page, go to our contact page. Here's the link right here. Click on it, and it takes us to the portfolio pictures just as we intended. That's how easy it is to jump from one page to another using anchor links. If you want to try this method for linking to the same page rather than a different one, then check out this video right up here. Go ahead, right there.